Jill, um, it's been very impressive that Scots College has had a finalist every year. And in fact, Scots College is the only school in the country which can claim to have had two winners in the Sir Paul Callaghan Eureka Awards. What was it that drew you as a HOD Science to the programme in the first place? I like the idea of the Sir Paul Callaghan Awards because I think that what he's trying to do is to get young people, or people in general, scientists, to communicate well, communicate their ideas well, and to um, come up with some ideas that are clever for New Zealand. They're ingenious. They don't have to be a big scale, they could be small scale and clever, and uh, they can use their technology accordingly. So it appeals to me from, from that, both those perspectives. For the boys of Scots College, what was it that they gained from participating, do you think? I think they gain uh, an experience that is more scholarship intended. Uh, it's thinking outside the square. It's a bit of independent learning, which we encourage. And I think they get the confidence to be able to stand up and express those ideas. So for me, having um, the ability to do that as a budding scientist is a really powerful one. Scott's has a long history of community uh, a community ethos and how well do you think that that integrates with what Sir Paul Callaghan was trying to do with his focus on science for the community? I think it does mesh quite well with, with Scots in that perspective. We do try and link what we're doing to the community, whether it be community such as a scientific community and linking with Niwa for instance, or linking to make some pastoral benefits for helping people or the homework centre. Anything along the lines of giving um, is, is a promising one and it's something that we would encourage here at Scots. And so with Sir Paul Callaghan's idea of trying to make it so that we can produce uh, some fancy technology or clever idea so that it benefits the community fits quite well. Mm -hmm.